This was Pixie. She lived for 13 and a half years, and she was with me through the best and worst moments of my life. She was with me through the most crushing and lonely years of my life, and is one of the reasons I'm here. Pixie was one of those pets who was basically an unofficial emotional support animal. Whenever I'd be feeling down, she would sit with me and purr. And just seeing Pixie happy and hearing her purr always made me think everything would be okay. Anytime I would be feeling anxious or upset, I would just go pet Pixie. She enjoyed the attention, and that really helped me calm down. Oftentimes, I would just sit on my bed and watch videos, and Pixie would just wedge herself between me and my phone and beg for attention, which I happily gave her. She was my composing buddy. When I sat down to write some music, she would just hop on my lap whenever she heard those MIDI instruments playing from my laptop. She was also a gaming buddy. Sometimes when I was playing Red Dead, she would often just sit on my lap while I played. Honestly, she was my best friend. I knew I could rely on her to be there when I needed her, and I hope she knew that I could I hope she knew that she could rely on me to give her all the love in the world and provide everything for her. She would meow for something and I would drop everything to take care of it. I understood what she wanted at various times. Sometimes she just wanted attention. Sometimes she just wanted me to empty her water dish and refill it. Sometimes she just wanted outside. And sometimes she just wanted me to mix up her food a little bit. I would do anything for this cat. About a month or so ago, Pixie's paw started acting up. She was in pain. We took her to the vet and they just trimmed her nail, but that didn't really do the trick, so we took her back. This time they saw the issue with her paw and scheduled a surgery to remove the toe. And she recovered from that beautifully and was walking on that paw as if nothing ever happened. With the toe they took off, they believed that there was a tumor, and let's just say that we're all glad that that got taken off. Between vet visits though, she developed a limp in her back right leg and that progressively got worse to the point where nobody could even touch it without Pixie lashing out in pain. The vets did everything they could, and they were amazing with how much they wanted to help my precious cat. They ran tests, they did x-rays, the whole nine yards. They found things in her lungs, which leads us to believe that she had a lung cancer that spread to her legs. No treatment was working to even dull the pain a little bit, and it hurt to watch. There was about a week and a half where she just refused to eat, and I was losing hope. At that point, she had lost two pounds. She went from 11 pounds to nine. And just a couple days ago, she started eating again, but her leg was not getting any better. We had the option to amputate her leg, but then we realized that it was only a matter of time before it would spread to other parts of her body and she would be in that pain again. So we made the most, de the most difficult decision a pet owner could ever make. It broke my heart in so many ways. <sighs> Last night, Pixie passed away, surrounded by the family who loved her so much. I know death is a part of life, and every pet owner signs up for this today, the day they accept an animal into their life, but that doesn't make it hurt any less. Nothing can truly prepare you for the loss of your best friend. She was the most precious thing in my life. Rest in peace, Pixie. Maybe one day I'll see you again.